Today we are working on uh, calculation of standard deviation under the chapter uh, investment management and security analysis. The problem goes like this. The rate of return of equity share of a company for last six years are given below. For the six years information is available about the particular equity share. The returns are given for six years. So based on this we are supposed to calculate standard deviation that is the risk connected to that particular equity share. So I have written here year in the first column 2016 to 2021. The returns is given in percentage, return is denoted as R and we have returns here, 5 years we have plus returns and 2018 only 1 year which is in negative. So R represents returns and I have written here summation R, summation R is the total returns what has been given there. So here we have to add all the plus values and minus 6. So if you do that, you are going to get here 90 as the total. So 96 will be the total of uh, the plus and minus 6 is there. So it is going to be plus 90. So plus 90 is summation R. It is the total returns that is going to be useful for calculating the average return. Average return, another name is called mean. It is denoted by X bar. It is also denoted as R bar that is average return. Summation R divided by N. N is number of items or number of years as it told. There are total 6 years. So N is equal to 6. So when you see here 90 divided by 6 that is going to be 15 is the average return. So the first step calculating the average returns 15 then we have to take the deviation of the return how much deviation is there deviation from average or mean it is denoted as D deviation is nothing but D R represents actual returns R bar represents average returns we are finding the difference deviation and the difference is one and the same so here R we will take for 2016 12 minus R bar 15 that is equal to minus 3. Next we will go for 2017 18 is R again minus 15 that is going to be 3 that is plus 3. Next we have for 2018 minus 6 minus 15 so when we do that minus 6 and minus 15 it is going to be minus 21 next for 2019 20 minus 15 plus value is more plus 5 next for 2020 we have 22 r r bar is 15 so it is going to be plus 7 next for 2021 24 minus 15 is going to be plus 9 so plus and minus values to be indicated in deviation and the deviation is done no need to total the deviation no need of it it is of no use then we have to go for d square d square is whatever the value you have got here as d that has to be squared so minus 3 whole square so minus 3 into minus 3 that is going to be 9 similarly plus 3 whole square so 3 into 3 9 like that minus 21 square you have to do that is going to be 641 441 next 5 square 25 7 square 49 9 square 81 
So when we do this, all are plus values only. So if you do the total, it is called summation d square or total of deviation square. That comes to 614. So this value has to be taken for calculation of variance. After finding the variance, we had to go for standard deviation. So step number two, variance, summation d square 614 divided by n that is 6. So variance is going to be 102.33. So I have to take for standard deviation square root of uh, variance 102.33 square root we have to take that is going to give us 10.11 percent as standard deviation so the risk involved in equity share is 10.11